Guys, you need to make this. This is, sorry, but this is awesome. Welcome back, everybody. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a simple, simple, easy recipe. Absolutely delicious. A snack, an appetizer. Um, you can call it whatever you want. To me, I call it a delicious snack. Where today, we're going to turn these oysters right here into fried oysters. Now, oysters are delicious, raw on their own, but not everybody likes raw oysters. Well, there's an alternative to that, and that is frying them super simple, super easy, and super fast. So, let's go get these oysters shucked, and I will show you the next steps on how to fry them up. Oh, that was a rhyme. Let's get to it. All right, so... This is basically going to be the hardest step you do is getting the oysters shucked unless you buy oysters from a can already at the store, uh, which is perfectly fine. You can do that, but it just so happens I happen to have access to fresh oysters uh, on a daily basis. So here is I have a professional shucking knife, important, and uh, you know usually I do it by hand, but for safety purposes. I'm going to do it on a towel, which you should do if you are not trained at shucking oysters. So, this is how I do it. This is what we call the hinge on the oyster, right back here, the hinge. You can use, go in through the back, the hinge. I choose to go just on the side a little bit. So, I'm going to be put pressure in and twisting it, just like this. As I'm putting pressure in, at the same time I'm twisting the knife. See that? It released. And now there's a muscle right here that I need to cut. So I'm just going to slide the knife, scraping the shell. And there we go. There is our oyster shucked. Now I will put this into a strainer to get rid of all this liquid because we don't want this liquid liquid in our breading. That right there is an oyster. So I would just I'm just gonna scrape it into a strainer, cut that muscle. See how we released it? And now I'm just gonna simply put the oyster in and just let it strain all of its juices out. You don't want to strain it too too long because you don't want it to get air dry so just make sure you get rid of most of the liquid just like that okay so for the breading this is what I use for the uh, the breading is you can use flour if you want but to be honest with you flour to me uh, has a raw taste and I don't really care much for frying anything with flour what I use is uh, very fine yellow cornmeal is all I use is cornmeal when it comes to frying, especially seafood, fish, oysters, uh, clams, anything. I like because the corn flour has a little bit of taste. As to plain flour, to me it tastes like, I'm not even going to say it. I have the oysters here that have been draining. It's only for me. It's a little appetizer for me, so I'm only doing, uh, I believe it's like 10 oysters or so. And this is basically how I do it, is to keep things to not be washing dishes. I take a Ziploc bag, you know, for 10 oysters, let's say, oh, this is a half a cup, I'd say, I'd say a half a cup. I'd say that's enough, about a half a cup. And then to that, I want a little bit of garlic taste where I'm going to use garlic powder. Now the measurement, you know, that's up to you. How garlicky do you like it? I just take a little bit of garlic powder. I'd say, oh, yeah, about that much. And also some paprika. I like the taste of paprika and it gives it a nice color. How much? Once again, uh... Maybe a little bit more. 
Okay, see that? I'm very, very strict about measurements. If you guys can't tell, measurements are very important. You know, then you just give that a mix up. Remember, I'm not going to use any salt here. You just want to mix that up just like so. And what's next? You guessed it. That's right. The oysters right in. Here we go. See? Super simple. You don't get any dishes dirty. Just give it a toss around. Just like that. Now watch this guys. Now you're watching this live. I'm not pausing. I'm not editing nothing. There it is. There is your oyster. All covered up. Batted up. Ready for the fryer. So that's the next step. Let's go fry them up. Alright. Even though I did say that we were going. I was going to fry oysters. Uh, sometimes I say some stupid things. Forgive me about that. But in this case, uh, I do not have a deep fryer and I do not want to fill this thing up with oil. It's too much. So here's how much oil. I use canola oil. I love using canola oil. One would think that I would have been prepared before starting to make this video. This is about how much I use. Um... I'd be willing to bet that's a cup and a half of oil. So about a cup and a half of oil. So I'm going to get this oil heated up over here. And in the meantime, I'm going to make a homemade tartar sauce to go along with this. So let this heat up. Let's go make some sauce. All right, let's make a super easy uh, kind of a tartar sauce or a dipping sauce. First thing you're going to need that I use is real mayonnaise you can use whatever mayonnaise you want it really makes no difference to me it's your preference you're going to be eating it so we're going to start tablespoon now remember like i said this is just for me so i don't need much for 10 oysters i'm going to do about two tablespoons worth let's say two tablespoons worth okay we got the mayo once again, I want just a little bit more garlic flavor. The measurements here, as you can see, I'm not really much of a measuring person. Uh, let's say about that much, just a little bit. See, not too much, just a little bit. And just a drop of lemon juice, just a drop or two. That that's that's it right there and of course I got in here some uh, chopped parsley and chives I like the flavor and it gives it some color why not we add all that in there like so you give it a good mixing There we go. And very importantly, a taste. Oh, that is right on. That is awesome. Okay, watch this. Do you see that? Just a little flicker. That oil is now ready. It's time to add the oysters. I got them still here in the breading. The cornmeal, that is. There's our oysters. Shake off any excess. You don't want too much. And you want the oil really, really hot. Because we don't want to poach. If the oil is cold, we're going to be poach poaching these oysters. We're not here to poach. We're here to fry. And we're going to do about three minutes on each side see shake the access off I think I got one more 
All right, all right. So we'll do about two minutes on each side. That smells unbelievable already. All right, it's been two minutes, so now it's time to flip them. Oh, you see that? That's exactly what you want right there. Now we flip them to the other side. All right, literally, that's it. Frying time is four minutes. So I'm gonna put them into a uh, paper towel here. Let them drain off a little bit. I already have the gas off. Mm, look at that. All right, getting these plated up. First thing I do, guys, first of all, a disclaimer. I am not trying to win any restaurant awards for plating up awards, none of that stuff. So this is basically at home recipe, basically for myself. I like to put my tartar sauce right in the middle of the plate. And I like to just take my oysters and just put them all around like that. There we go. Maybe if I could be a little bit neater about it, it would look better. But, there you go. Okay, here we go. Fried oysters. You guys do realize what I'm about to do. I'm about to taste this while you are watching. Or well, hopefully you're still watching. Get it dabbed in there. With that sauce. Good. Mm. I'll be honest with you. Even if you don't want to make a sauce for it, it does not need a sauce. That's how good it is. And crunchy. That is fantastic. Mm. Guys, you need to make this. This is, sorry, but this is awesome. All right. Guys, that's going to end it for this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Follow the channel along. Give the video a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down. But please, whatever you do, don't give me the middle finger. Thank you. I appreciate it. Give this a try. I won't leave any recipes in the description below because I pretty much explained to you everything I did. You guys stay safe. And I hope you make this and enjoy it. Bye, guys.